Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding two brackets of the form x plus a times x minus a. Now this is a very specific scenario uh, and the reason I'm doing this specific scenario is it will help you when you come to factorising something called the difference of two squares later on. So we've seen in a previous video how to multiply out two brackets. We do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So that x in the first bracket gets multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. And then the second thing here, the plus 5, gets multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So let's do that. The x gets multiplied by the x, that's x squared. The x gets multiplied by the minus 5, that's minus 5x. And then we do the plus 5 multiplied by each of these things. 5 times x is plus 5x, don't forget the plus. And 5 times minus 5 is negative 25. Positive times negative is negative. Now, at this point, we would collect like terms. And let's underline each of the terms. We've got the x squared here. We've got minus 5x plus 5x minus 25. Remember, when you underline it, you should include the plus or the minus in front of this algebraic term here. So minus 5x plus 5x. Now, terms are like terms if they involve the same variables and the same powers. So this is an x squared term. Now, these are both x terms, but they're not x squared terms. They don't involve the same power. So that's the only x squared term, so that's just going to be x squared. Now, these are both x terms without that power of 2, so we can collect these together. Now, what's minus 5 lots of x plus 5 lots of x? Well, minus 5 plus 5 is 0, so these actually cancel each other out and we're left with nothing there. And then we've got this constant term here. A constant term is just a term without a variable, and we've got the minus 25. So we end up with something like this, where the x term disappears, but we've still got the x squared term, and this non-x term, the constant term. Let's do the same here, and we'll hopefully see the same pattern. We do the x times each the thing in the second bracket, and then the minus 3 times each the things in the second bracket. So remember, each thing in the first bracket times each thing in the second. So the x gets times by the x, x squared. x gets times by the 3, plus 3x. And the minus 3 gets times by the x, minus 3x. And the minus 3 gets times by the 3, minus 9. And again, we underline these. The x squared is the only x squared term. But the plus 3x and the minus 3x cancel each other out. And we've still got that minus 9 and we get x squared minus 9. And the reason this is important is that we can go backwards later. So if we had, say, x squared minus 16, we're going to get two brackets, one with a plus and one with a minus. And then you can see we've got the x's here. And then can you see the 5 times 5 is 25, 3 times 3 is 9. And so this is going to be 4 and 4 to give you the minus 16. So this is the opposite process of expanding. This is factorising, and we'll see this in a future video. It's known as the difference of two squares, and this is how we factorise the difference of two squares.